Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Fitz, your personal tour guide. Welcome to episode number 18 of my review of Warren Hills Cancun Jazz Festival. Well, the festival will be here soon. The date's coming up really quick. So I think it's about time we had the talk. So before we get into today's videos, I want to say thank you to all the feedback. So many of you have said these videos have been very helpful and that's exactly why I put these videos on YouTube, just to create a, a single source, a one-stop shop, so to speak, for all the information that I could possibly think of. So that it will be very helpful. So you have an enjoyable and a pleasant trip and hopefully you can avoid some of the mistakes that we made mostly because we just didn't know but uh hopefully these little tidbits these nuggets help enhance your trip so thank you so much for your feedback also welcome to the latest subscribers now in this video i want to talk about health and safety so yes the COVID 19 um, numbers are coming down thankfully but we know how quickly that can change we're not out of the woods yet so i want to make sure that everybody is still attentive still on guard so i want to post this video it's mostly a reminder for most of you just to let you know hey this virus is still out there so we want you to be safe and healthy while you're on your way while you're there and coming back from Warren Hills Cancun Jazz Festival. So let's start off by taking a look at the Music Getaways website. So this is their sort of frequently asked questions that relates to health and safety. Uh, one thing I kind of surprised, this thing has been updated since February 7th. And man, just think about how much has happened since then. You know, I think either they'll do a better job, if nothing else, keep us comfortable and aware, letting you know that this website is being updated frequently, especially since it says in the bold print, this page may be updated. Please check back regularly. Contents are subject to change. So I'm assuming nothing's changed because the update still says February 7th. But anyway, this is what we have. You can always, of course, contact Music Getaways if you have any detailed questions about what their health and safety protocols are. But there is some information listed here that is that's helpful. So first of all, you have all of your uh, 2021 event attendees. So this would include Los Cabos, which was back in May 2021. Also uh, covers Cancun for October 2021. So we don't know if this is still valid for Cabos, for example, when it's coming up in 2022. And I think there's another location uh, down in the Dominican Republic. But as right now, this is what we have. So we assume this is all going to be pretty similar moving forward. So the one thing it does talk about here is that all guests will now have an on-site COVID antigen test required to return to the U.S., as well as extended state coverage and on-site medical insurance included with their package. So in case someone tests positive while you're there, they have you covered. Also, not only do you think about what is music getaways protocols, but what about the hotel itself? What about the Hard Rock uh, Riviera Maya, the Hard Rock Las Cobos? What are their protocols? So make sure you take a look at those as well. There's a link here on the site. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is for Los Cabos and they have their uh, COVID-19 testing um, procedures as well so it says here please note complimentary antigen tests do not apply towards compensatory incentive or discount reservation so they kind of make a little disclaimer right here and if you scroll down you'll see here's the information on the uh, for us travelers so the one thing to keep in mind is that you get two complimentary antigen tests per room and so if you need more than that, it's 50 bucks for each test because you have to test negative 
entering into the U.S. So the very first line that was effective back in January. That's according to the CDC. All air passengers entering the U.S. to present that must present a negative COVID-19 test. And you get two of those. Com it says per room. Uh, I'm not, there has to be more details than that. What if there's three in the room, right? What if there's four? You no, know, what if you have a suite? So I'm sure there's more information than, than just what's stated here. But anyway, make sure you come here, take a look at this, read through this carefully, and make sure you have a copy on you as well. And for other travelers, you can also check this website. If you're not coming from the U.S., check your location here for more details about traveling and on-site testing and things of that nature so let's hop back over to music getaways and they do have a youtube video which has some helpful information there's actually two there's this one that's linked here but also there's another animated video on the music getaways uh youtube page i'll put a link down in the description below if you want to take a look at that but Let's go ahead and play this video and take a look at the information they have as it relates to their enhanced protocol. Hey, music lover. Music Getaways is excited about your upcoming trip to Mexico, whether in Cancun or Los Cabos. We've got you covered when it comes to your health, safety, and well-being. As you'll see when you arrive, your driver will greet you wearing personal protective gear. He or she will escort you to your thoroughly sanitized vehicle as we clean and wipe down your luggage. Our festival and hotel staff are trained to follow strict hygiene protocols like daily temperature readings, frequent hand washing, and the use of personal protective equipment. The festival and hotel has an on-site doctor 24-7 for any guest that requires medical attention. Upon arriving at the hotel, you will be escorted through our fast and easy check-in process, administered a non-invasive temperature reading, and provided disinfected hotel and festival wristbands. We have ensured that your room and all common areas have been deep cleaned and disinfected for your safety. During the concert, you will be allowed to sit with your guest while also adhering to social distancing protocol as it relates to your fellow concert goers. We at Music Getaways understands how the uncertainty of not knowing what the future will bring may make you feel. Just know that we have a plan in place to provide a safe and clean environment for your music getaway. See you in Mexico. All right, so that is the video for the enhanced protocols. I thought it was very helpful. A lot of good information there. So for those of you who went to Cabo, I would love to hear your feedback to see how closely all of those details was matched, you no, know, as it relates to your particular experience. But I thought the video was very helpful. So that's why I want to play it here. Uh, so also they have a social distancing plan. So make sure you go over this completely. We already talked about the uh, temperature check. So the video kind of covers everything that's here. We talked about the six foot uh, physical social distancing where feasible. Uh, I'm sure there's floor guides, I'm sure there's signs everywhere uh, to help guide you. So I'm, I'm sure everything is handled very, very well. Also, I want to make one note here, and I'm going to say this more than once today. They talk about, you know, being able to get travel insurance for your package because anything prior to arriving to Cancun or after you leave, you've left the property and got on your flight, nothing's covered, you know, after that. So you want to make sure you still want to have travel insurance, uh, especially in the days and times we live in today. It really doesn't make sense not to have it. You know, me and my wife just, you know, booked the cruise. Guess what? We went round and round by travel insurance. I said, you know what? We're going to be rather safe than sorry. Just go ahead and get it because, um, you just never know. Things change quickly. So you want to make sure you have yourself covered in terms of any kind of additional medical expense or cover your trip because you can't make it. Because if something happened, you can't make your trip. Guess what? I've covered all of the refund uh, policies before in the previous video. So yeah, they're, 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 they're tough when it comes to refunds. They'll just move your trip forward, but refunds probably not going to happen. So do yourself a favor get some travel 
insurance. Uh, also, there's one thing on here that also says that says, what happens to my package if the concert is threatened due to COVID-19? Well, they're just going to move it. So that's all that's going to happen. They'll just move it to the next available date. Or if that date isn't available, then you'll have to uh, you know, take your trip within two years. So they'll transfer it as much as two years out. All right. So that's all I have for that particular uh, section of the video for the website. So just go there and check all the information out. Make sure you have that stuff uh, well known and make sure you got it ingrained. Print it out if you need to. Just make sure you have a copy of it. So now I kind of want to go over a general COVID checklist. So this is going to be a COVID travel checklist. Just some things to keep in mind as you prepare to head out to Cancun. So the first thing that I already mentioned travel insurance to make sure you have travel insurance you have up to i think a day before to get it make sure you do not leave home without it do not leave home without travel insurance uh, also make sure you're aware on all the latest travel advisories things are constantly shifting as we all know so make sure that you are aware of travel advisories also Whatever airline you are taking to Cancun, you want to make sure that you know what your airline COVID requirements are, because from airline to airline, you know, they, they, they vary slightly, but make sure you know for sure what those protocols are for your airline. Also, airlines are really moving away from contact. So they're really going towards contact less payments on airlines. So Make sure you, if you are the type who likes to buy stuff on flights, uh, which those are, are dwindling as well anyway. So you want to make sure you have that credit card information probably in the airline app or in the wallet in your phone. So make sure you take care of that before you leave. Also, make sure that whatever your important items are, you purchase before you get to the airport, toiletries, snacks, or whatever. Uh, for nothing else, that's just one less thing you have to go and be around other people. Uh, plus, I believe there are some stores aren't all open in all airports. So, hey, make do yourself a favor, have that stuff with you before you leave. That way you reduce things you're touching around other people, blah, blah, blah. Just make sure, just have that stuff for you, with you before you leave. And also, I talked about this already, make sure you understand the hard rock requirements as it relates to health and safety protocol, the antigen testing, all of that fun stuff that we just looked at over a little while ago. Also, I know a lot of people have their own cloth masks that have designs and they're all blinged out, which is awesome, but bring some disposable masks. Those are hard to really keep clean and you just do yourself a favor and just make sure you have plenty of disposable masks just in case uh, you're not able to get those cloth masks uh, cleaned and dried out before you head back out. So just make sure you have a box of 50 of those and, uh, and you'll be good to go. Also, I don't know about you, but I've gone to places, you know, and they have those uh, hand sanitizers, but a lot of times they're empty, right? So, uh, especially when you go into some place where they are a lot of people around, you know, I'm sure they do their best to keep all of their hand sanitizers probably around the properties uh, full, but I would have a small bottle of hand sanitizer with me. Of course, it'll be small because guess what? Airlines have those liquid you know restrictions so you can only have uh, so many ounces per traveler but make sure you have a small bottle of hand sanitizer uh, my wife travels with those uh, wipes as well those sanitizing wipes lysol or whatever so she packs those with her whenever we travel anywhere these days so it'd be a good idea to have those so when you get to your room if you want to be extra sure you can wipe down stuff yourself also in this day and age when it comes to travel there's something you're going to have to pack and you're going to have uh, you're going to need a lot of it and that's just patience if you thought travel was a hassle before uh, with all of the protocols for health and safety there's even more of a hassle and of course in the news recently have been tons of flight delays and flight cancellations so the airports are a madhouse right now hopefully by the time you head to cancun for the jazz festival all that stuff will be sorted out and you won't be affected 
buy it. Uh, so anyway, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you guys have a healthy and a safe trip. You know, some of asked if I was going, my wife and I, to Cancun Jazz Festival. And so we decided not to go in this particular time, but we are going to Cabo. So cannot wait for that. Well, this is Fitz. Do me a favor, for those of you who went to Cabo back in the spring, drop me a comment down below. Let us know how the experience went as it relates to all of the health and safety protocols there at uh, Cabo. So uh, anybody who comes across the video, they'll be able to take a look and to see how the experience was from your perspective. Well, this is Fitz. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.